Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. Uh, that's the scene of the uh, CN Towers in Toronto. And I took that while we are on a boat out by the lake. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Romans 15 verse 13. It says, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in Him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. That's Romans 15 verse 13. Here's my poem. Shower of Hope Do you get tired of challenges you face each day? Ask God to give you wisdom and show you the way. Pray that He fills you with His Spirit and wisdom. Ask that you have victory and always live in freedom. A shower of hope is waiting to happen to all who believe. Do everything you can to abide in Him so you can receive. When you live your life the way He plans, hope is near. You will have an overflow and all things will be clear. Here's my essay. As I was growing up, there were many things I couldn't do. I was very limited with stereotypes and norms that surrounded me. People around me have certain notions that, and ideas about things. When I received Christ in my life at age seven, I had a glimpse of what lies beyond those limits. The Holy Spirit always guided me into truth. I had dreamed to become a painter since age two. It took 35 years before I realized that dream because I lived in the limits of people around me. God showed me a way out with hope all those years. I cooperated with His Spirit and He made it come true. Prayer. Thank you for your generous overflow of hope. Reflection. What blocks people from experiencing a shower of hope? I think if you experience one traumatic event after another that could discourage you from um, from hoping or having having something to look forward to. Another reason for people um, not being able to experience a shower of, of hope is because they don't believe in the Lord. If you don't believe in God, then you will not see things uh, the way He sees it. And He's a very positive person. Um, I call Him a person because He's a person. We were all made in His image. So if you are a very negative thinking person, that means that the enemy has actually uh, infiltrated your thoughts by putting all kinds of toxic thoughts and all kinds of limits because God is limitless. So if you are putting limit in yourself, that means that the enemy is operating on you. It is not God because God did not set us up for failure. He, he made us to be winners like Him. He made us to, uh, in His image, perfect like Him. So we don't have to live in the blocks or in the prisons of limitations. Like we don't have to tell ourselves just because we heard it when we were a kid that we will, we will uh, accept that lie in our lives because that limits us from actually pushing on through with our dreams. As I said earlier, it has been my dream to be a painter since I was two years old. And um, it never happened because everyone around me was discouraging me from doing it. But by the time I was 35, I was old enough. I, was, I had some, some um, career going and I started having the confidence. So I said to myself that nobody's going to tell me what to do anymore. That will limit me from reaching my dreams. And I did. But I only did that because God helped me. But I only was able to look forward to hope for things to come the way I, um, I dreamed it to be only because I believed in the Lord. Without Him, I will not be able to do that dream. So He showered me with hope when I did that because He also used being an artist for my healing because I went through a lot of traumas. So it became like every time I painted, it, it gave me 
a, a, a feeling of comfort, um, a feeling of that I was able to let out all my, all, all my um, anger, my bitterness, everything that uh, that was getting inside me, deep, deep inside me. So it became uh, a venue for me to uh, release all this pain, and and it became something that people started to buy. So. Isn't that amazing that all these things that God has made you is like he, he, he made um, beauty for ashes. Like out of the ashes that I went through, he brought out some beauty from all the artworks that he made me do. So thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day. I love you so much and so do I.